Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Build Apps Low Code No Code Development Training with me Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In this video series we are learning about how to use SAP BDP environment build apps capability to design and develop applications in the cloud. So far in the last class we had created a simple hello world application and also deployed that in the cloud to test the same in this video, we are going to see how can we integrate the barcode integration with a simple mobile application. If you like this video series, kindly like, share and subscribe the channel. Please do also share this video series in the WhatsApp group of your company so that everybody can take benefit out of it. With that, let's get started our today's topic, how to integrate the barcode capability in build apps to create a simple application scan a barcode and print the data in a message pop-up and now first of all we will provide a headline hello Priya welcome to your Nutri expert app it's a beautiful name please click the scan button to scan the barcode of the product in your store. Perfect. So that's a message to the Priva. And now we can switch to the mobile screen. This is how the app would look like in the mobile phone. We will now add a button control. And let's change the label as scan. So on click of the scan button, what should happen? So I was telling you about writing the visual programming. So we will write now a logic flow. So this flow will trigger whenever user click the button. So whenever you come back to the build apps, if you click the button, you, at the bottom you see add logic to button. So you can also provide a meaningful name to the button, like a unique ID. Of course, we have given the label, but a unique ID will also make sense. So I can say BTN scan. Yeah, that's my button ID. So now I click and you see add a logic for button scan. I click on this and now it opens the visual editor to start writing the business logic. So the very first thing which we need to do is to launch the barcode scanner and for which there is a built-in component provided by SAP Build Apps. So I'm simply going to drag and drop that component. So just come down and you can see here scan the QR code or barcode. I select that and I will just connect the dots. So the moment user click on the component on the application button, then that event will trigger and this will then lead us to start the camera. And you can see this is the step and let me give the name of the step if I want to. So you can see the step have basically three outcome one, two and three. You can always come back, click here and then you can also uh, look at the outputs. So you can see how the output would look like output port one. Yeah, the first port, the first bubble there where you will get the text <coughs> of the scanned barcode output two have nothing. And output three will be the error in case an error error occurs, right? So permission denied. Let's say user denied the permission on the camera, or the camera itself was damaged and not found, or platform not supported, or unknown error. So that error handling you can also do. So what we typically do, we also go to marketplace, and here we will search for a log module, which will help me to do the logging. As I told you that. It uses behind the scene the IBM loop back uh, or IBM, uh, you know, IBM framework. It's called Node Red framework. So there are standard components from the Node Red which we can also use over there. Yeah. So a lot of these components are there. So you, you search for log. You see, there are different uh, components related to, you know, retrieving the logs, throttle, prompt text, toast. A lot of these debug log. Log. Yeah. This is the one I'm interested. So I click on that and install this debug log component and you can see it's been added now. <clears throat> so I can drag and drop this and connect it with my 
third note for error handling this is very very important the error handling yes and here we has to log it we have to show the issue right so for that you have to go to log message and you click on this button to do binding because the value has to come from the previous node so i click on this button to start binding and now i choose output variable from another node so the current node i am binding with the output of the previous node basically the error which comes out to showcase the log now when it comes to this pop up you see there are many options static value data variable in the data variable again you have many values to choose from i will come back to all of this in detail in coming section in the next episode we will discuss the types of these dynamic variables which is what offered by sap build apps in detail we'll discuss about application state as well so now i choose output from another node and this is the node name qr code scanner node and here you see the error so i take the error message and save it so now it's bound to the output of the qr code error message at the same time i will go to core and add a alert connect it with my first node and again just do the binding to get to know the value coming out from my qr code content and save so whatever scanner scans that data will be displayed in a alert pop up that is my logic so literally zero coding it's all drag and drop connecting the dots together connecting the blocks together to get application ready perfect so now we are happy it's the time we go ahead and test our application so i save it and till now whatever i've done i will also export and share it as part of the study material of this training so you can also repeat what i have already done and then we are going to scan some barcode so i will go back to my mobile app and then i'm just going to say preview here and we're going to preview our application so let me go back to build apps and in the build apps then we are going to scan the qr code scan it and then of course enter the y w s y x 5 and enter the pin so that will launch our mobile application so it's authenticated and you see app is launching and we will go with the one which is product scanner app i'll open and you can see hello priya welcome to nutri expert application please click on the scan button uh, for the barcode yeah so of course now i will open a sample barcode and let's try yes it is scanned quite fast so let me try again and i scan and there you go you can see the value it has scanned already 4565317 yes so that is the barcode it has scanned so like this likewise we have many of the barcodes there so i can just give it a try the another one so I click on okay scan again opens the camera and scans quite fast so you can see this is how my barcode scanning functionality is achieved in almost negligible time time without any coding experience and all of it works through my mobile application beautiful so that